Good afternoon. I'm honored to be here with all my fellow citizens and patriots. I'd like to tell you the story of how I got here. I stood on a mighty river, the river of America. I was busy with my job, my family, and my chores. When along comes Huckleberry Finn on a rickety wood raft. Hey, he hollers. Do you know anything about our economy, our government? Not that much, I called back. Me neither, he said, as he pulled up alongside me. I'm a little nervous. But things look bad to me, and I'm going down this river of America to find out what I can do about it. I stepped on the raft with him and said, I'll go along. Off we went. The river was rough. We were tossed about wildly on many rocks. Home values were plummeting. Retirement savings were being cut in half, and jobs were being lost at a devastating rate. We can't go on like this, Huck, I said. Pull over, over there to the left. There were many people on the left being dazzled by a great magician with a magic wand. I will give you two million free jobs. No, wait, make that three. No, four. And they'll all be high paying jobs, said the magician. And from my magic hat, I will pull out free college, free health care, a clean environment, and while I'm at it, world peace. <laughs> wow, I said, that's marvelous and amazing. Where do I sign up? But fortunately, I was with Huckleberry, who, while didn't ha not having a formal education, had a back hills common sense and an eye to spot a scam. He asked the magician, how much are all these marvels and wonders going to cost us? For you, my friend, said the magician, nothing. As average Americans, your 25% tax rate will not go up. I was jumping for joy. He's giving us everything I could possibly want, and it's not going to cost me anything extra. Where do I sign up? But again, Huckleberry was cautious. He said 25% may be reasonable, but that's by no means all I pay. I pay a big chunk for state income taxes. I pay Social Security and Medicare tax. I pay a large property tax. Everything I buy, I buy, pay a sales tax. And then there's extra taxes on hotels and utilities and a big gas tax. And every time a business pays their income tax, their payroll taxes, their property taxes, 100% of the money for those taxes come from the people who buy their goods. Me again, said Huck. And then there's the biggest burden of all. The federal deficit this year will be twice as big as all federal individual income taxes combined. Enough already, said Huck. I realized Huckleberry was right, that focusing on just the federal income tax was a smoke and mirrors con game. The total burden was devastating and growing at a rapid rate. And, said Huckleberry, what is that roaring sound I hear just ahead of us? Oh, that, said the magician. That's a great waterfall. You see, our government has created the largest national debt and the largest artificial money supply in the history of mankind. When those bubbles burst, we all go over the edge. We're all crushed on the rocks below. That's when I heard Huckleberry say, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> we got back on the raft and headed towards a big island in the middle where a group of people were having a tea party. When we reached the shore, we saw a big stone with an inscription. It said, no one can find safe way for themselves when society is sweeping towards destruction. Therefore, everyone, in their own interest, must thrust themselves vigorously into the intellectual battle. Ludwig von Mises. Yikes, I said. This sounds like a place that's looking for hard work from me, rather than giving me a magic show. 
Yes, said Huckleberry, but isn't that how most positive change really occurs? A woman was there to welcome us. She said, this is a group of people who believe in good government with responsible spending and reasonable taxes. But Huckleberry was never one to hold back his concerns. Yes, but after the Tea Party's over, what do you guys do to achieve these goals? The woman said this was a group that all believes that good government comes from well-informed and active citizens. We have people doing all sorts of things as individuals and groups. Out there is a fireman and a doctor reviewing federal legislation to identify unnecessary earmarks. Over here is a, fi a farmer and a teacher forming local groups to fight state tax increases. Back there is a mechanic and a waitress writing blogs to support fr free markets. Everywhere you look, men and women, young and old, doing everything under their sun, researching, communicating, organizing, campaigning, all with the simple desire of doing their share to help our country. Huckleberry, I said, you and I are going to join this village of citizenship. Yes, we will, he said. And we'll do the work required. We'll educate ourselves. We'll take action on the issues facing our nation. Yes, we will, he said. And as part of a larger group, together, we'll work to replace a government based on politics and special interests with a government that reflects the values and will of the American people. Yes, we will. And we'll perform the earnest discussion, debate, dissent necessary to preserve freedom and justice. Yes, we will. And together, we'll build in a future where America continues to be the land of opportunity and a beacon for individual liberties. Yes, we will. And together, we will teach our children that they too will one day be required to carry forward the beacons of democracy and citizenships. Yes, we will.